Built in the late 19th century during the Victorian era, Bang Op here exudes a charming and nostalgic atmosphere. Its architectural style and design reflect the elegance and craftsmanship of that era, making it a captivating site for history enthusiasts. At intervals along the length of the pier deck, you will see pretty little Victorian kiosks, and at the end of the pier a fantastic cafe. It was in two of these kiosks where we set up and ran the special event station GB0BGP. The aim of the special event station, and indeed all special event stations is to make contacts both locally and around the world to promote, celebrate, or commemorate an event, or venue. Another important aim of a special event station is to allow members of the public to see amateur radio in operation and indeed have a go themselves, and despite of the poor weather a few members of the public visited, took a turn on the microphone and tried their hand at Morse code, who knows one of our visitors may be a licensed amateur in the future. During the day club members worked over 100 stations on HF 40 and 20 meters SSB, CW Morse and VHF 2 meters FM. We made 40 meter SSB contacts around the UK, Finland, Austria, Belgium, France, Netherlands, 20 meter SSB around Europe. On 18 meters, we made a contact in the Azores. CW Morse worked stations in a Russian contest and later in the day made contacts taking part in a youths on the air contest. The youngest youth worked was a nine year old Romanian. Dragon Amateur Radio Club would like to thank the friends of Bangor Garth Pier and Bangor City Council who kindly allowed the Dragon Amateur Radio Club the use of two kiosks on the pier to run the club's special event station. Without their kind support this event would not have been possible. If you would like to find out more about Amateur Radio or indeed the Dragon Amateur Radio Club please browse to our website at www.darc.wales. If you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.